Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on EuroFX. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsummit.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsummit.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on the cryptocurrencies as usual we do in Mondays and Thursdays. First in the beginning of the video as usual I would like to present our new fundamental report for March on the Bitcoin market where we uh, talked about uh, what the reasons currently stands behind the current rally and we're trying to use uh, really uh, some weighted approach for understanding um, what's going on, what we could expect in the future and should we uh, be optimistic with the recent rally that we have on the Bitcoin and what the chances actually it has to proceed high and to, to reach this some targets that are mentioned by the fans of the Bitcoin which is now are talking about the 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 and so on. And just using common sense, some facts, some fundamental analysis, statistics, and so on, we uh, step by step is going with the subject and take a look what's going on here in the market sector. Uh, this report you need to consider together with the previous report where we pay lots of attention to the uh, regulation and really big concerns about the regulation. This topic is gradually is uh, really moving to new report as well it's just because as you know the CFTC uh, Security and Exchange Commission absolutely do not want to relax and uh, left behind uh, the major players on the cryptocurrency market and uh, we see and then there actually there are reasonable background for that and there's reasons for that uh, and it's tightly uh, currently uh, linked with uh, actually policy that Fed taking concerning all this banking crisis and so on. In uh, just using the common sense, trying to answer on the question, uh, for example, you're one of the clients of these banks, such as Signature Bank or whatever. You have grabbed your deposit and you're happy that you were able to take it out and you have put it in a cryptocurrency market. You can see that cryptocurrency is rising, but well, gradually have the concern what's the next. Uh, the cash flow of this extracted deposits currently is fading. And uh, it's a new question appears on the horizon. What you're going to do the next step? It is not the period of 2021 when you have the zero rate and you have the rally on the Bitcoin on the background of the zero rate level. Currently, it's 2023 when the rate stands around 5%. And whether you will see it in the Bitcoin waiting and uh, worrying that currently people just start taking out the money and the cash flow from the deposit will start to fade so bitcoin could fall you probably start thinking about where to invest your money this is just some hint to you to understand uh, what we discussed in the report so probably you'll get uh, some interest with the reading it Speaking about the technical side, uh, currently market stands in a tight range, so we take a look at the higher time frames, so do not have big changes. Here, market is gradually flirting with the major resistance around 28 area, and usually pivot point is gradually coming to uh, dealing with the uh, MACD predictor. In April, the MACD will be lower, and then this actually a week where we have the closing in the first quarter, this is important. So we will see what will happen at the beginning of the April here. On the weekly chart, we do not have big changes. Market mostly stands in the same range, uh, dealing with the resistance. The one thing that we could discuss currently mostly stands on the daily and lower time frame. So if we'll take a look on the daily chart. Here is divergence is growing. We do not have grabber yet, uh, but we have hint on the possible divergence that might be formed in this week. And uh, this divergence makes sense why? because market stands in the strong weekly resistance area. It not stands somewhere in some free space, but this is going on near the strong resistance. From that standpoint, the divergence that we need to pay attention to. Simultaneously, market is forming a kind of the, as you can see, 
widening and consolidation. And for the direction, mostly will depend on uh, direction of the breakout, this top or bottom, or maybe some other patch will be formed later. We will see. Uh, but currently we should treat it as a consolidation. Our recommendation that we have given you last time when we said keep an eye on this range and you probably could try to take the position somewhere near the bottom of the range and see what will happen is just because of the price action. After the collapse here was, was significant upward bounce and after that this market has formed a kind of the ABCD pattern. So it was really gradual and slow and that definitely was not looking like the reversal. Bearish reversal mostly reminds the consolidation. And you can see indeed market shows some minor upper bounce up on the support area and standing in the same range. Currently, this was the COP target. Currently, as you can see, we have here minor washing rinse of this previous top. So we can see minor spike and fast return at big down. So I will show you this larger chart. Right? So definitely here, well, um, there's actually a few options that you could follow. Speaking about the OP target, it's around 30, 90, almost 31 area. There's uh, some concern exists about it, it's just because it stands significantly higher than the weekly resistance level for the 3000s above it. And from that standpoint, yes, we could consider it, but well, we should understand that the chances the market will reach it just occasionally is not really significant. From the technical point of view, it fits perfectly to the picture that we have here, because if you measure the distance of this range, suggesting the upper breakout will happen, as you can see, it's target very close to the OP. It's 31 area, so from the classical technical analysis, breakouts and moving the same distance as the range stands to the upside gives us the OP. But the problem is, as I said, that OP is outside of the strong resistance area. and. Uh, at this point, we are not considering yet taking any short position because, uh, well, theoretically we have uh, we have some bearish signs, but in general, overall context remains bullish by far. Uh, but obviously, you do not want to take the long position right below the resistance below this area, and when you have the clear signs of the bearish washing rings, so market just moves slightly above the top, grab the stops here, and return it back down to the consolidation. I would suggest there are two options to consider taking the position. First, the classical most common thing is that to wait for a pullback uh, down below the, in, in the lower part of the of the range. So this is classical approach for trading of the position inside on some consolidation, right? So if market will start forming here some kind of the ABCDs to the downside, that will be the pattern that you could consider for a possible position taking with the placing stop somewhere below the same bottom of the range or even below the confluence and so it's possible alternatively these two positions two approaches are not mutually exclusive so you could use them both you could place stop by order for example around 29.50 above the washing rings because if market will stubbornly keep going higher and taking out of the stop it starts smelling like the real breakout and uh stop buying order lets you to step in right in the moment of the breakout before upper continuation to the OP could happen. So that's actually only ways that I see it's possible because on the lower time frame you could see at this point we have nothing really clear except this uh, maybe channel. So that's all. It means that either you need to wait for more clarity, maybe the patterns on the daily chart or something of that sort or to act on intraday charts with the setups that we just have discussed.